welcome back. So we've got new updates for the F-16, the latest patch. Uh, this is specifically patch 2.7.15.25026 open beta. The F-16's got quite a few things, one of which is this brand new bomb here, the GBU-24, Paveway 3, uh, Alpha and Bravo. I've already tried it against the hardened ammo bunkers and the command centers, and it takes more than one to take those down still, quite a few actually. Um, sometimes you get lucky with just one shot, one kill with these things, um, but it still takes quite a bit. But a regular hardened aircraft shelter or a bunker, uh, these will take those out, no problem. If you've watched my laser guided bombs video, you'll know how to use these. Um, there's a few other pieces uh, that WAGS goes over in his video, uh, and I'll probably make a tutorial on them later. Uh, we've also got the cruise page, and we'll go over that here in a second. But the biggest thing, in my opinion, is this uh, Flickus improvement. I'm really excited about that. That and the FLIR improvement, we're going to check that out. So, Flickus, uh, we no longer have a problem taking off and pulling the gear up and having the nose go flying where we don't want it to go. Uh, you want to try to make those really slick Sierra Hotel takeoffs, you need uh, the gear not to mess with your nose. So we're going to pull this up. I'm real heavy, so... Keep ourselves... Ooh, yeah, this is way more sensitive than what I remember. And gear is up, and I did not feel a clunk or a jump at all. So we're going to go for our max climb. We're heavy, we don't want to over G, so we're going to stay with less than 3 G's. And max climb. Unrestricted. I'm noticing with the Flickus that we are definitely more sensitive on the roll. I'm not feeling too much on the pull. Nose up, nose down, but our roll, uh, the roll rate is probably the same, but I feel like, I don't know if the null is the right term, but it feels like the null is a little tighter. Uh, I'm going to actually have to use some curves to get it back to the way it was if I want it that way. Uh, otherwise, I can just start getting used to this. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely more snappy on the roll. If we turn on the, let's open up the refueling door and make sure the light turns blue. We are ready. And with the door open, it changes the flickus gains and should make it less snappy. And it does, but ever so slightly. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. It's still very, very snappy. So this is definitely a change. Some people might hate it. Some people might love it. I'm sure dogfighters will love it. So I'm going to close the door again and we'll check it again. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more snappy with the door closed, but with the gear down, I noticed it as well. Uh, it was really snappy, <laughs> more than I'm used to, but uh, yeah. The Flickus is definitely sensitive, but they say it's a work in progress, so I'm expecting a lot of changes to that. So don't get too used to the feeling of it right now. I'm sure they're going to polish it and it's going to change as time goes on. So I'm going to leave the curves off for now because uh, I'm sure they're going to change it in a month and then I'll have to change my curves. So I'm just going to leave them off and just get used to it. I have also noticed something. I've got an ECM pod on my belly. I've got two wing tanks, two GBU-24s, and four M120Cs, and I am climbing at about two and a half degrees, and I am barely losing speed at 22, at Angels 23 almost. This is incredible. So the adjusted payload drag indexes, definitely a change there. You're gonna definitely notice that. Uh, I feel like I'm flying through the air a lot slicker, even with all this on. Man, I'll bet if I drop everything, I'll just be like a rocket. This is great. All right, so they've also added the cruise page to the DED. This is great because we just got the South Atlantic map, which is massive. It is 3.1 million square kilometers. So having the cruise page now is going to be pretty cool. So to get to the cruise page, you just hit the number five right here. And there's your cruise page. 
Starts with the TOS, time on station, then range, home, EDR. WAGS has a great video that goes over each of these uh, and how to set them. It's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but this is actually going to be very helpful with those long trek missions. I feel like people who fly the long missions, <laughs> there's there's only a few of us around. Uh, I feel like most people like the dogfight, but I, I prefer the realistic long uh, two hours of boredom for 15 minutes of terror. Uh, so, anyway, uh, next. Pad expand and HSD expand. So we've got those. If we go to the HAD. All right, so we've got this SA-6 and the search radar up here. We're gonna put our cursor over it. And then we're gonna hit the norm button here in the center. And that'll expand it so we can actually see both of them. And there we go. Expand one and two, or you can also use the expand button. Just hit it once for expand one, expand two. So let's go over here to the HSD, and let's move this cursor over to this right here. We'll hit the expand button, and I still can't really see what all is in there, so I'm going to hit it again, and there we go. Six, six. 15 and a triple A. Expand back to norm, or of course you can just hit the norm button up here in the center. If you're on a flight and you got to figure out who's who or you're merged, you can hold the expand button for longer than uh, one second and it'll zoom in real quick so you can kind of get a quick view of what's around you. GBU 10, 12, and 24 multiplayer desync issues. I hope that that is referring to me dropping a paveway onto a building, blowing it up, and my wingman doesn't see it hit the building at all. It's frustrating because even the server will show that I got a ground kill, but the building still stands for other people. I'm looking at it with my uh, TGP and it is dead. It's nothing but a hole in the ground, and my wingman's like, nope, it's still there. And I've had it for me too, a uh, wingman tell me, uh, it's shack on a building, and I look down there, like, it's still standing, but I see a big hole about 50 yards to the west, and I'm like, what? No, I should have killed on my targeting bot, I'm looking at it right now, so I hope that's what that's referring to. Autopilot will not disconnect at AOA over 15 degrees when heading or steering select is engaged. I didn't even know that was happening. I didn't know that was a problem, so I guess that's cool. Uh, pitch oscillation at low fuel states. I know I saw that a few times where you would get above like Mach 1 and uh, you were dropped all your ordnance, you're super slick, and your fuel is, I don't know, 4,000 pounds, and uh, the rudder would start to jiggle, so that's been fixed. It says pitch oscillation. I don't remember pitch, I remember yaw. Uh, instant transition between cruise gains and takeoff and landings. That's that uh, clunk on takeoff and landing that we don't get anymore. This is great. Now we can do those Sierra Hotel max climb uh, takeoffs. It's going to be great. Incorrect visual IP and RP behavior. I don't use that. We've got the GPS. I use, I don't really use VIP or VRP. Um, I'm sure some people do. I think that was left over from the F-16 A's and B's era, but uh, yeah, I don't really use that. TLL line does not point directly to the target outside the HUD. That's cool. Destination page. Grid is two characters, but allows for three. I'm not really sure what that means. If you know, comment, uh, let us know in the comments down below. HTS, don't switch harm to previous sub mode uh, after undesignate. CCRP mode, able to drop bombs well after initial drop. AO1 and AO2, slewed is offset from start location. Again, I don't use those. The SPI, the sensor point of interest on HSD, is only visible when TGP or FCR are soy. That is fantastic, because uh, I've actually had that be a problem in the past. All right, let's get a little lower and try this out. Angels 9, there we go. All right, we're below the clouds. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right, they fixed the white hot on the FLIR. This is so much nicer. Look at that, so much better. Black hot and TV, white hot. Oh, fantastic. So, and I'll show you what it used to look like. <laughs> uh, and then they also broke it and uh, 
white hot was black hot, black hot was white hot, but uh, this is significantly better. Now, I've seen FLIR in real life. It's much more, there's much more contrast in white hot than that. Really clear what you're looking at. FLIR is incredible in real life. It's it's really impressive. Now, let's take a look at this C-130 here. Oh wow, that looks so good. Yeah, this is looking great. Much, much better. This looks a lot more like FLIR. Altitude. A lot more like FLIR. Now, U.S. Air Force would not be that bright unless it's hot. <laughs> so, that's just a texture thing, and I'm sure they'll get that polished out. Uh, in fact, in real life, I don't think you'd even really see that. It'd be hard to see the U.S. Air Force. It'd be really faint. I've seen it in real life, and uh, we were looking at uh, A-10s taking off with it, and it looked like the A-10s had afterburner on. Um, I haven't been able to find a jet yet. Let's see if we can find a jet. That's not a jet. Oh, uh, look, you can see the engines. That is cool. Black Hot looking good. TV. Okay. Very cool. You can actually see the heat coming out of the engines. Looks like afterburners. It's really cool. So, TGP, uh, it's only... The speed is only vi uh, visible when FCR or targeting pod is selected. So let's go team uh, Demus up. Point. Grab that right there. Oh, it's just so much better. All right, so that's my speed. Got the asterisks up there. So I'm guessing they. That's not a problem anymore. Very cool. All right, this is looking great. I'm really excited. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna drop a 24 on this. Uh, there we go. This electrical tower here. And we're clear to drop, here we go. And lazing. All right, go left. idea where that went. Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh, I thought I had... <laughs> Alright, anyway, I thought that was... <laughs> Alright. I was like, what am I doing wrong? I didn't realize that much time. And if you look at the uh, SMS page, it'll show you how much time you've got uh, for the uh, flight. Uh, if you go to the control, it'll tell you time of flight, but I didn't look, so <laughs> I thought it I thought it went dumb. I was like, oh, I must have dropped her wrong. Anyway, cool. So those are the updates for the F-16. I'm really excited about the Flickus, and it's, oh man, the FLIR. The FLIR is great. It looks great. Really excited. All right, that's it. See you guys. Seven. <laughs>